Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we will discuss about mean, standard deviation and variance. In our previous classes, we already discussed about measure of dispersion, range and quartile deviation. These are, this is a continuation class. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. This mean and standard deviation are other ways to identify the measure of dispersion. So how we do that, uh, let's try to understand with an example. Coming to mean, standard deviation and variance, uh, mean deviation, the first example is mean deviation, which is also called as a mean absolute deviation. How to find this mean absolute deviation, MD is equal to 1 by capital N, summation of uh, Fi multiplied by absolute value of Xi minus X bar. This is the equation to find the mean deviation mean absolute deviation here n is number of data points uh, fi means frequency of our data points if your distribution is provided in frequency values uh, then you have to place the frequency values of that uh, distribution uh, xi minus x bar means mean of our distribution we call it as x bar so anyhow this equation will be uh, better understood by taking an example so we'll go with an example in our example we are going to discuss only the frequencies we are not considering our distribution as frequency distribution all our frequency points are one if you multiply with one nothing will happen so that's why in our example in our next class we are going to discuss uh, how to find the mean uh, mean deviation and standard deviation for the given frequency distribution data and some more examples uh, so coming to this uh, as we discussed even in our previous classes when we discussed about measure of dispersion, measure of dispersion is a measure to find how our data is spread based on the mean. That is the point you have to understand. Based on the mean, how our data is spread. That is what you have to identify. So here we are going with uh, based on the mean how our data is dispersed with mean absolute deviation and uh, standard deviation. Let's try to understand uh, xi means our data is given like this. For simplicity we have taken 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Frequencies are given 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So there is no frequency distribution in our data set. Uh, xi minus x bar. What's the meaning of this? We have to find the x bar means mean of our data. If you want to find the mean of our data, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus up to 9 divided by 9. Total how many points are there? Data points, 9 data points are there. How we get that? n is equal to summation of this fi. So n is equal to summation of fi values. Frequency values is gives the number of data points. Here we are having all ones. That's why 9 data points are there. n is equal to 9. 45 by 9 is equal to 5. So xi minus x bar means xi is 1. 1 minus x bar 5. 1 minus 5 minus 4. But we are going to take the absolute value. In order to avoid the negative, we are taking the absolute value. So the value is 4. Next one is 2 minus 5. That is minus 3. Absolute, absolute value is 3. 3 minus 5 minus 2. Absolute value is 2. 4 minus 5 absolute value is 1 the, like that we have to calculate we have to find xi minus x bar absolute value of this summation with uh, this is multiplied with frequency we are getting the same values so how we find the mean deviation 1 by n summation of fi xi minus x bar summation of all these values we are going to get 20 20 by 9 that is equal to 2.2 so our mean deviation value is 2.2 this is how we will identify the mean deviation mean absolute deviation similarly standard deviation is also very much similar to mean absolute deviation but most of the times we are we uh, most of the uh, situations we will use standard deviation as a measure of dispersion measure of uh, spread so coming to the standard deviation equation sigma is given as standard deviation we call it as sigma is equal to square root of 1 by n sigma fi same formula same formula xi minus x bar whole square in order to avoid the negative value there we have taken the absolute value here we are going to 
do the square of the number if you do the square of the number we will get the positive value of that uh, that's why we are going with the square root of uh, because we are squaring it here we are going with square root of value this is how the standard equa standard deviation equation is uh, we have if you find the standard deviation the deviation is going to give the how much spread how much spread uh, spread measure of dispersion value using standard deviation uh, but most of them says that uh, uh, if you if you are having uh, if in your data set if you are having outlying points much of the outlying points uh, so go with the mean absolute deviation otherwise go with the standard deviation why why the logic is uh, in standard deviation we are going to square the value xi minus x bar so if you take that uh, outlying points 1 2 3 4 5 6 uh, this is an outlying point 80 most of our data is around 1 to 6 and uh, one of the data point is uh, is far away from our uh, remaining values which is we call it as outlying point uh, if you if you do this sub, uh, subtraction so mean minus 80 and we are squaring it uh, means we will get a large value means standard deviation is getting affected with this large value because of this outliers it is it is involving much with the standard deviation because of maximum value we are getting uh, because of the outlying points uh, that's why go with mean absolute deviation there we are not going to square the value so less impact of outliers so this is the situation so that's why most of them says if you are, if you are having much outlying points go with mean absolute deviation otherwise go with standard deviation so this is the equation for standard deviation variance is equal to square of a standard deviation so sigma square is equal to variance this is how we will find the mean mean absolute deviation standard deviation and variance hope you understand the equations in our next class we are going to do some practice examples how to find the means uh, standard deviation and variance uh, for frequency distributions uh, if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you